Hola, hello. In the piece of today, we have been talking with associations working and organizing women from the informal sector and self-employed to talk about the importance of the work leading to the adoption of a convention and a recommendation addressing and combating violence and harassment in the world of work. For that, we have been in conversations with representatives from, the, from CIWA, the Self-Employed Workers Association from India, also from the organization StreetNet International, and as well also the Federation of uh, Domestic Workers, the International Federation of Domestic Workers. All of them very interesting. Have a seat and enjoy them. This centenary ILC is important for my organization because it has, this is the year where we look forward to having a convention on ending violence and harassment and our members are greatly affected by violence and harassment because they work in public spaces, they are like a public nuisance in so many countries. We don't yet have a convention that protects the rights of the informal economy workers. We are essentially grateful that we have got a recommendation from the ILC of 2015, which speaks to the transitioning of informal to formal economy. And elimination of violence and harassment is really a necessary step towards achieving formalization. I think that for the domestic workers and the vulnerable workers, this is the most important conference because, you know, violence in the world is affecting domestic workers, mainly women. And for us, if we can have a convention on this, at this conference, it will strengthen Convention 189, which is already there for domestic workers. But we believe the two conventions together will make it even more powerful for the domestic workers to understand. But we also want to make make sure that domestic workers understand the convention. We need to make sure that education will be given to workers, the vulnerable sector, for all that they understand. This is not just a paper. This is a paper that must work for them. And this is why we are here. We are very excited to be here. We are also sometimes getting very angry when employers and governments don't want to agree with us. What we believe that we, if we empower women, if we empower the vulnerable workers, that we will be able to make this convention work for us when we go back. And we must make sure that when we go back, we put pressure on our governments to say, this is about us, this is our rights, because at the moment, violence is destroying our countries. Violence is affecting the women, and we need to make sure that this is a safe world for us to work in. First of all, this is the centenary year of ILO. So uh, as we all know, we are going to have a convention on violence and harassment in the world of work this year. So we were part of the discussion from the beginning of the process and since this is a centenary year and also we expect that this convention is going to be adopted this year, this is so important for us to be here as part of the negotiation process to include the concerns of the informal sector like the domestic workers, street vendors, home-based workers in the instrument you know, f uh, fr as representing informal sector organizations and also to see that this instrument will address the issues of violence which the most marginalized in the workforce, amongst the workforce face. So that is the relevance of this convention for us.